you came back? Remind me. I got back um, the end of July. I believe it was July 20th to be exact. And I came back to Morgantown. Tell us how the whole, how that all came out. So the past um, two years, I've been at LaSalle University in Philadelphia, um, working with the guards. Um, I did a little bit of operations too. Um, and then, as we all know, Diane Richardson got the head coaching job at Towson. Um, and Coach Carey literally called me, you know, as soon as she accepted the position and said, hey, I have something open, are you in or are you out? And, um, you know, I definitely said I was in, you know, no hesitation and we came back to Morgantown. So. Is this something in the back of your mind you were thinking, man, I'd love to, love to get an opportunity to come back? You know, I always, um, you know, thought about it. Once I got into coaching and everything, I said it would be great to actually be able to, you know, and coach at my alma mater and everything, but I never, you know, imagined it happening so soon, you know, in my coaching career and everything. So, you know, I'm just grateful for the opportunity and, you know, glad that Coach Carey, you know, trusts me to come back and, um, you know, work with his program and continue to help it, you know, um, reach the success that it already has. So. You, know, you have an advantage as a young coach right now in this period of your career where you're fairly close in age to a lot of the players. Right. Now, right. 10 years from now, it'll right. be a little different. Yeah, absolutely. Is that something you need to use to your advantage to say almost look at you as more no. like a peer in some circumstances? Well, you know, I don't want them to look at me as a peer, you know, because at the same time, I'm, you know, in the coaching position where they have to, you know, listen to what I'm telling them. Um, but I do use my experiences. I, I graduated from here three years ago. Um, so I, I take that um, to be able to still kind of understand the way that they process things and the way that they think about it and kind of use my experiences to, you know, help them to understand, you know, what Coach Carey's saying and, you know, hey, he may say it one way, but this is actually what he meant and that kind of thing. So I do definitely use my experiences. Don't want them to look at me as a peer, though. Were you, were you thinking about coaching even long before you even stopped playing? I was definitely thinking about coaching. Um, I decided that I wanted to get into coaching when we would have our, our camps on, on, on campus. Um, I really enjoyed working with the younger girls and you know putting them through drills and helping them to learn basketball skills and that kind of thing. And once I felt you know that passion and like, hey, I could kind of maybe make this a career, is when I decided that I may want to look into getting into coaching. So you know, went overseas and played for a year and then said. You know, I want to look into this, and the opportunity presented itself at LaSalle, and I just took it and ran with it. I was working for Coach Carey different. It's not much different. It's not much different at all. You know, once you get to know Coach Carey, you know, understand his personality and the way he runs his program and what he wants from his girls, I think it's just the same thing for his assistant coaches. Um, you know, he expects the best. He expects greatness. And, um, you know, if you keep that mentality and work hard, you know, I was successful as a player. I believe I could be successful as a coach, too. So, you know, it's not much different at all. Nothing in coaches' meetings or anything. It's still the same. It's still, still pretty much the same, still the same concept, you know, physical for 40, you know, we really uh, set our, or pride ourselves on defense and, you know, that hasn't changed. So, I mean, obviously I'm on the other side now and kind of, you know, have to look at the X's and O's a little bit more, but not much has changed. You've worked a lot with Katrina. Um, she's someone obviously that needs to, they need her to have a big year, right. especially with Tynese out here early on. How have you seen her progress? Oh, well, KP works, or Katrina, you know, works really hard. She's in the gym every day working on her game, whether it be threes or, you know, getting to the basket or a pull-up. She's just really trying to, you know, make herself more um, presentable on the court. And, you know, she had a good showing in the scrimmage, and she's going to have a good year for us. But, you know, when you have people that work that hard every day, they won't do anything but be successful. Did you know much about her before you came back? Um, I had always followed the program, you know, you know, even after I graduated, so I knew that she was a knockdown shooter and that kind of thing. But the more that I see her work, she can be so much more than that. And, you know, she brings a great uh, mindset to the court. You know, she, she listens and she just wants to do whatever it takes for the team, you know, to win. So it's always good to be able to work with players like that. How about this is she's developing a nice pull-up jumper? Oh, it's going to be awesome. And like I said, most people see her as a three-point shooter. But, you know, when you can get to the basket or you have that mid-range game, the defense has to respect your game. They can't just play you for one, you know, position. So um, she's definitely going to draw a lot more attention. And people, are, like I said, are going to have to respect her own defense. 
is obviously the ultimate goal for you and head coach someday. Is that what you're yeah. working towards? Yeah, that's what I'm working towards right now. I just want to be the best assistant coach I can be for these girls and, you know, help them to get to the next level. And, you know, if that comes to be a head coach one day, then I'll, you know, take it as it comes. You would like to have, I mean, y'all y'all's back here now. Yeah. You know, with you as well. Mm-hmm. Nice to be here. Nice to be back. Absolutely. Now. Good to be back with an old teammate and not just a teammate, uh, you know, one of my best friends. So to be able to get back here and go through, um, you know, being back in Morgantown, uh, it's just, it's a great feeling to be able to be back here with her too. So you, obviously you're in Philadelphia. Right. They were with LaSalle and... Right. Morgantown, two different types of places. Two different types of places, but Morgantown's home, so I love it.